Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got a crimping tool we're going to look at. Just picked this up uh, to do a job on a printer I was doing, so I'm going to make up some cables. So I thought I'd do a bit of a video to show you how to do that. In fact, somebody about, it was about a month ago, asked me about what crimping tools do I use. And I didn't have a really good one. The one I had is uh, this one, which I'll show you. And it's really for for uh, bigger crimps, like solar panels and stuff like that. And it's just not uh, small enough to do the fine work you need for the little smallest uh, GST connectors. So this one, you can see it's a lot beefier at, uh, for the big stuff and it goes up to like 6mm. So, and I'm not going to use that one obviously because this stuff is there for small, small sockets and plugs. This one does come with a load of different fittings by the way, so if you were thinking about getting one of these this is a cheap one, 25 quid. Comes with loads of different types of fittings. There's just the crimping ones. Yeah. But it's not about this one. So, put it out the road. This is the box it comes in. Got it from Amazon. I'll leave the link. There's a the name, Perceiver. I think that's right, Perceiver. It also comes with a couple of tubs. Yeah. There's a the mark and if you need that. Now, the reason why I bought this one is because I've already got... Uh, same make in uh, a crimper, a different type of crimper, I'll show you that shortly. Uh, so that's the box. What it comes with is, that comes in the box. And it also comes with a box of uh, some a decent manual. And to be fair, this is what you really need if you don't know what you're doing, like me. You really need some specs. Because you've got to guess, does it go that way? Does it go this way? Back to front, so this makes it all clear. So it's like one, two, and three. I think you can read that. One, two, and three. It works for them ones. Number two, number, th number three. Yeah. So what you can do is you can just uh, make sure you've got the right ones. So this is far easier. To give you the specs. Yeah. do's and don'ts so this alone is worth a little bit more money just so you get the correct ones the correct uh, settings so it comes with a box of these ones a perceiver 2.54 mil GST HX ones and in the back what they look like and these are the ones I've actually been using for me 3d printer and such electronic bits and bobs when you're making stuff. I'm trying to find a plug around here what I fit on there. I can't really see anything really but if you look at this hey there's one. So there's a, a, a something I'm repairing and there's the same plugs there. So if say for instance you damage that you need to replace it. There you go. There's one there. So that's good. So they're quite popular. They're used in pretty much loads of different types of things. Is there one on the back of there? No. But yeah, you get the general idea. So, it also comes with some of these ones, which is DuPont ones. Connectors. And that's what they look like at the back. Loads of different ones. Let me open this up. It does come sealed. So I had to open them. I've never used any. I've never done anything. So that's what it looks like. Nice selection. This alone must be worth a tenner. Yeah. So you've got loads of pins, male and female, right up to looks like uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten pin, right down to one pin. Yeah. Which yeah, and also there's some ribbon cable, some uh, ten core, and loads of pin headers, right angled ones and straight ones. Can't argue with that. So value for me just for that alone. But it's no good if I haven't opened that one. Let's see how there's uh, cellophane on it. So again, these ones are the GST ones, smaller plugs, and it goes up to like pin. I don't know what that is. I can't count it. 
is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, seven. So you got seven pin, right down to two pin. Yeah, so I'll pop these out the road and then what we'll do is have a look at the machine. So it's no good if if you get all this, but the machine itself is crap. Now, with this, this type of fit, uh, crimping, you need a, I was a bit worried, like, do I buy some, something like £150? I don't spend that much. I don't do enough to do that. So I compromise on these ones. This one's 35 but yeah, obviously the, with the other things you're getting, it seemed worth it if it works. So that's what it looks like on the back. There's the front. Pop it out. Pop it over there. Get that out the road. Just give you a little look at that. Now they only come to one set, where the other one I showed you, the yellow handle one, it had like four sets or five sets of different ones for all different types of crimps. But I bought that one for my solar uh, panels when I'm connecting, uh, doing them crimps. So these look like they've been machined, which is good. So they've actually been ground, I mean, you can see. Yeah, and then it says on the front, it says PR3254, then it's got 0.1 millimeters to one millimeter squared. Yeah, AWG 26 to 18. And then you've also got uh, a tensioner. Or you can loosen that off and change it if you want like more tension. That's on number one, two. So it's on the middle one. You can actually add one, three more settings as a plus and a minus. So it opens up. It's self-locking. So there's a ratchet just here. If you can see that little ratchet. Hopefully that'll focus. Uh, and one click, two, three, four, five six and then it releases yeah looks a nice piece of kit uh, everything looks good what I'll do is I get the microscope out and I'll show you a close up of that at the moment so we've got that and I'll move this out the road so I've got a bit of space uh, now I've already got some of these from the other crimp because I bought it one ages ago and I don't know why it's gone to be honest, I might lend it out. But these are the ones I've had for a while and I've got on the same thing, JTS 2 point. So just to show you, them the JTS ones, come to loads on the other one. You probably can't see that but if that's focused, I don't know if that's focused or not. Oh, well, that's focused on that. Okay, guys, so I've got the microscope up. You probably can't see that, so I might have to take some uh, zoom in and get some better shots. But I'll try to record it. I know this record, but I don't know how to do it. I haven't used it for a while. So I've done a few little, uh, well, I crimped a few just off camera there. So these are the first ones I've done. I've done about six, uh, and the first ones haven't worked out, so I'm going to show you them. Uh, hopefully you should have to see that there. Uh, I think you can see that. I'll just try and zoom in on that bit. Yeah. Now you can see, uh, I'll just use this as a pointer. The, the insulation wants to stop just there. So if I turn that sideways, you mustn't go past that. That little crimp there so your insulation yellow bit stops here yeah so I've gone too far this part is where the wire crimps otherwise it's going to go too far and affect all that so that's a bad one I'll show you all these bad ones I've done it'll probably still work but it won't be correct uh, there's another bad one so you see what I'm doing that one this this part here needs to be straight. It looks straight, but I've I've crimped too far. That hasn't gone in enough, and these little wings haven't got hold of the haven't gripped. I'll get me nearer. 
I haven't gripped the wire. I should be get that wire out. Can't get in there. But it's difficult to get in, but the wire is not crimped properly. Like again, it'll probably do its job. It's coming out now. See how it hasn't gone in? There you go, look. That was good. Let me just hold it there, tilt it sideways a bit. I pulled the wire out so it's crimped on the plastic, but it's not so that's a really a really bad one. Yeah. Let's put them up there with the road. Another one. So you're gonna take a few goes because they're that small, the tiny. It's so easy not to get. And there, there's another one which is like Yeah. I've gone too far. So it's crimped here, it's only supposed to crimp from this bit to there, but it's bent over. Uh, again, too much plastic in. It's gripped out of the wire, but it's, it's ruined the rest of it. So there's the third bad one. I want to see if I can do one. I've just done one there. Again, far too far. This is before I, I knew I was just having a go. So this, this part has got to be intact, which it is. But the wire, the wire I can't see. It's actually bare wire. Now this part here, where you can see it, I'll just turn sideways. See that bit there, that's the bit where the plastic clip, which is these little plastic clips, I'll show you that. I'll bring it into shot. It's a, yeah, it's a wrong way around, but that little plastic clip there, that little tang is what grips under there. That's what holds it from coming out. You gotta lift it up to come out. So there's that one, one more, and then I'll have a go crimp on one. Again, uh, too much again, I've gone too past there. So it's really critical that you just strip off two millimeters and no more. And two millimeters is from here. Uh, hold on, from there to there. That's, so that's one mil. Two mil. Sorry, no, it doesn't. From there, from there to there is two mil. See how the yellow has gone into this. This part here is for the met for the wire. It's hard to see. There, I've just opened it back up again. Yeah, so that's that. So, uh, what I'm going to do then, I'm going to get a one of these. I'll show you one of these underneath. That's the new ones. That's the ones you've just been looking at. Let's go sideways. So you can see, you can see that that's the front. This bit here, I'll go sideways. From there to there is crimp in the wire, and this is the wings to crimp the plastic insulation. And your wire can actually come up to there, but you don't want it to, it only wants to be as long as that really. It's not doing anything there. And then that bit is for the, to take the pin. Yeah. Okay. So. That's that. Uh, what I normally do is uh, just say, just bend one off. So it just comes off like that, and then you need to know which side you're gonna put it in, put it the correct side. So I close the first. Have a little look. Yeah, that's the big side. So we got number three, don't we? It said on there in the manual. It said number three. So the metal wings. Want to go? What I do is I go two clicks. One, two, pop it into the there like that. I mean, see. In fact, I put it in the microscope. You might see better. Yeah. See, there's number three. It wants twisting round a little bit. Hold on. It's hard to see, but see there. That's about right. So that's about right there. I just need to pull it back. Now, let me pull it back a bit more. 
Sometimes you gotta put it in with, push it in with your fingers a bit. So put it awkwardly with it. I'll get it in position first and then show you. You've got to pull it backwards. There you go. Done. I think that's it. Now if you look. Can you see that little ridge? There's like a step. It's like I've got nothing that fine to actually get in but there's a little step just from here and inside. Just steps down a little bit about see it there. Hopefully that comes through on camera. Well the wings have to go up against it so you pull you pull it back like out so it sticks out a little bit. Yeah, see if I can show you that on camera as well. On the I'm trying to get it's really weird to get this there, so it's sticking out. That. Yeah, it's really weird. And then that's that done, really. It should hold it, it's not going to be great. So, if you put that down safe somewhere, it shouldn't fall out, but it does fall out a few times on me. As long as you don't move it, so you really want your wire ready. So, I get some wire, get some side cutters. You can see that wire is too long. So what I want to do is I want to start off like that. Then I want to strip two millimeters off the end. Doesn't matter how you do it, as long as you do it. I use these things. Just easy. Because I can see where the two mil is on that and put it under there. If I can see it. There's a two mil there. Yep. So I'm going to twist it. Try to keep it straight. That's probably a little bit more than two millimeters. It's it's really it doesn't it looks like it's two mil, but it's actually more. So I'm just going to measure that. How small that looks. It's three millimeters, isn't it? I don't think that'll matter as long as you don't push the cable, the red, the yellow bit, too far. It's so important to get the yellow part butted up. Now there's a little ridge line where you slide it along the bottom and it'll, it'll hit the ridge line. If you miss that ridge line, it's going to go further up and you're going to crimp, crimp the plastic bit where the metal, so the metal, where the metal bit crimps. You're going to catch this instead. Okay, let's have a go. See if I can do it. It's only the third or fourth time I'll do it and I'll think at the top of the bottom. Yeah, I think that's that way. It's really difficult to see. You can look in that side maybe. See it. And then that's it now. You can't really see under there. Hopefully that comes through. Let me have a look. See, I've gone too far. Again. It's not bad though. It's still crimped it. And it'll probably be a good crimp. It just means that where this crimps down, it's crimped a bit of the plastic as well. But it's still got a good crimp. So that I'll class that as a, a usable one. But still, less is more when I'm putting it in. You want that bit missing and wire all the way from that to there. Yeah. So we class that as a good one. Uh, I've just done another one with camera. Oh, is that the one I've done? Or is that the one? There you go. So that's a perfect one. Yeah. Look at these little look at these little bent over wings. They're all the way along, gripping the uh, the metal wire. Yeah, and the insulation's only gripping that. Hopefully that comes through. See that. Let's turn the brightness up a bit. Yeah. So that's a good one. So there's a plug, which is 
like that. Yeah. Now, as it goes in, you can see that's where that would be. So this part here sticks up a little bit and it catches this little wing. So let me just slide it in, see if it works. So I'm just going to hold that down with a knife so it doesn't move. There you go. See it going in there. If I, once I get you can just see that it's just there now, a tiny bit more. Uh, it's clipped. That's it. So that's how much the wire will move. That's a little spring. It springs upwards. So that's how it moves. Yeah, that's it. Obviously, uh, you can, because I've opened these up a few times and took them out, you might need to make sure they're bent down again. But that you can see that's fine. Yeah. And then looking at the end, you can see it's there. Now if I get a pin, I'm oh, like a male one. So there's there's a male one I've done a couple of minutes ago. I forgot about that. Let me just hold it and I'll push this pin in to see whether. So there's that. Can I go in the eye or not? The only thing with this microscope, it's a little bit, a bigger one might be better, like a bit further away focus would be better. So there's a male version, pin. Now that's the wrong pins actually. That, oh, is it? Yeah, I think it's the right ones. But you can see, that should, I have to my hands, fit in there. There you go. Obviously, uh, You'd put the other one around, and you can see it. I can feel it gripping all the way down. Now let me just pick. Uh, just one of these. I'll show you under that, under there. Yeah. So when I push that one in, it's a little bit better pin to see. Yeah. You can see that's at the. Goes in, and you can see it's got all of the. Can't go any further, and that's it. So when you're making your uh, blocks up, they're already in there. There's loads of them, quite a few. So the battery's just finished on there. Hey right, guys, so that's that done. Hopefully that came up on camera. If it hasn't, I'll have to redo it again. So there it is. There, pretty straightforward. There's the pin, and there's the plug. I'm really pleased with it anyway, uh, and there's a few more I've just done there. So, uh, first thoughts, don't give up if it doesn't work straight away. You're going to do at least, I mean I had to do about 10 sir. And I was just messing about, I didn't even read the instructions. I still haven't read the instructions. Uh, but, looking at it, you can see where the flat part is and the other part and where it's supposed to go. And where these are supposed to uh, join together. So you can just see how it's supposed to go together. But if you don't if you don't crimp it right or it goes in too far and not enough, it's gonna be difficult for you. Uh, so first thought, I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. It's exactly what I needed, and I need to do a few projects. And it comes with uh, loads of different connectors and blocks, so you can't really grumble over that for the price, it's about £35. So that's that, the quality looks excellent, I've looked under the microscope, all machined. I don't see, so there was a couple of people complained about it and said it was garbage. But I have had to do 10, at least 10 practices to get them to work. Because they're really good, but if you haven't crimped it properly, you just won't get a good contact. So you have to make sure you do that. And there's a little step in there. There's a little step so you can slide it along until it hits the step. Yeah. So yeah, I'm pleased with that. Now my other one I bought because I bought this because I've got another crimper, and it's this one here. Yeah. And that's why I uh, bought that. And that, that's for doing ferrules. 
And I was so impressed with this one. Same deal. Put it in. I don't know what you can see on that. Uh, it cramps up. It makes a nice crimp onto the ferrules. I'll show you one of them. This came with a load of these. And I've been using these for my printer. I've just been doing a project. And if you'll see, I'll leave the link actually if you want to watch that. So the in it. AM8, sorry. AM8 build. So anything I do electrical, I usually put these ferrules on instead of just soldering. Well, things are soldering anyway, it gets like maybe a lot of current, it gets warm and it expands and then contracts a bit. Then the solder stays contracted and then it gets loose and then you get a you know, arcing and such. So I, let me just show you these working. So these ones actually go from 0 0.25 to 10 millimeter squared, yeah. And you've same deal. You've got uh, an adjuster, high quality. Grips are lovely, and it just they just work. Let me just uh, I'll do one of these ones. So you've different sizes. There's the biggest. It's the biggest and the smallest would be these little white ones. Which you can see the difference. I don't want you to see that on camera. They're tiny. So them these type of wires, what you're using them pins, let me just strip that. Use me trusty stripper. These things are fantastic. Pick what you want. I mean I normally when I'm doing them I want the wire to go right up. So you can you can actually do more. So if you strip it like too much off, like that, twist it. Yeah. Twist it, and then obviously that's, that wire is too long. So I'll slip go in. It'll come all the way out and stick out a little bit. It's not a problem. Just trim it off with the other ones later. So. <clears throat> these ones are great. I love using these. It just makes your life so so easy. So that's how you want to do it. Push it down, and then scrimp it. Done. As you can see, it's sticking out, isn't it? Not a problem. Do I get on camera? So I do it. I'm oh, sorry. And <coughs> yeah, yeah. They're super nice, safe. And when you're crimping it down under a brass screw or something or whatever screw you're using, it's a more protection for the wires. It stops the wires from just uh, flaring out and and snapping. Yeah. And there's all the sizes. I know I was doing a crimping tool for this, but because it's the same one, I just thought I might as well do that. So the ones I use is that, that, that regularly. And uh, what else then? The bigger I showed you, but if you are doing any work on these type of things, you're using a lot of cables like I do, then these are a must in my opinion. <coughs> okay. Hey guys, if you found that useful, give us a thumbs up. Leave your comments below uh, and I'll get back to you if I can. Hope this has answered any questions people have been answering, asking me. Uh, yeah, I get a thumbs up and if you haven't already subbed, I'd appreciate it if you drop the sub and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.